guys welcome back to my channel today we are going to be learning how to make such a tassel this has been a request on Instagram because uh, so many people want to learn how to finish up their chains on their projects but they don't know how so this video is going to just give you the detailed um, version of how to make this tassel and also attach beads to the tassel on our drawstrings, especially for shorts, skirts, and any other project that you would wish to make. So the materials that you're going to need are yarn. And for the yarn, I'm going to be using knuckle. It's the same exact yarn that I used for this project. This is a pair of shorts. And this is the drawstring that I've put in my shorts, but I would wish my ends to look like this so I've already done the first one so I'm going to be working on the second one so you will need yarn a pair of scissors um, a comb this is what I used and then beads I have a small bead and a bit big so this is the big one the small one goes to the bottom so let's begin and see how this works out. The other thing that you're going to need is a darning needle. So you're going to put this end of your chain. Into the darning needle. And pull through. Like that. And now you're going to first put your bigger bead like this and then you slide through your smaller bead that's what you should be having and now we are going to get the yarn that we are going to be using so I like to use two strands of this yarn so that So that the tassel becomes bigger very fast so i'm using two strands of my yarn so like this and i'm going to stretch it across my chest so that i have four strands this is the needle and this is where i'm pulling from from the ball of yarn so i'm just going to stretch it across my chest just widening my arms out to the fullest and I get that measurement from here you're going to just cut your yarn and disconnect it from the ball of yarn so you'll have this strand on your um, darning needle so the next thing that you're going to do is to go into the very first chain here And you're going to pull through your yarn I'm pulling four strands at the same time and I'm going to leave some little distance here and I hold then I go behind my fingers go into the same exact chain and pull through and then wrap my yarn around my fingers again and we are going to continue doing this until we are almost out of yarn so this is what I have and now you're going to get your pair of scissors the small ones can't work for me right now so I'll use my big pair of scissors and cut the base of my tassel and then I'll grab my darning needle take it out so at this point you can balance the tassel you can see one side is longer one side is shorter but that doesn't matter right now we shall work on it later so you're going to lay your work flat and you're going to get 
a string same exact color or different color whatever you wish to use and we are going to tie about one inch below the chain where we placed the tassel so we are just making a very tight knot so I'm tying it about three times to make sure it's secure enough and from here you're going to cut So this is what you should be having right now and then um, you're going to make a knot here at the top part of the drawstring before the bead so just pass it through and slide this knot downwards so that it settles on top of the bead you don't want your bead to be moving around the chain up and down the chain so you're going to just slide this knot and once it reaches the base of the once it reaches the bead you're going to tighten it a bit just a bit so that's fine this is to stop the bigger bead from moving up and down the strand so after this you're going to grab your comb this is my comb that I'm going to be using and all that's left is to comb through the the tassel so the good thing with this yarn is that it separates so it creates a very good effect afterwards so you're going to have to make sure that all the strands are separated you can do this for a few minutes and you'll be set keep turning your work so that you go into each and every strand you can still see some solid strands here and there so you're going to do that until you can't see any solid strings so that you make sure all the strings are separated okay so you can see this we don't want that so you're going to continue to comb through until all the strands separate and once you have that the next thing that we are going to do is to um, level our tassel so the upper part of the tassel is left untouched this part we don't do anything there so after this you are going to lay work flat and you're going to cut off the excess the excess chunks at the bottom just to make it more leveled and neater so this is what we have cut off any protruding strands and this is how your tassel will come out and at this point both our tassels are finished and this is what we have this is the finished product you're going to want to make sure that they are almost identical it can't be exactly the same but try to make sure at least they are almost the same size and that's it for today i hope you liked this tutorial i'll see you in my next video bye